Hi guys, this is your sister Carrie Ann in Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, um, I wanna, I wanna share a vision with you that a beautiful sister of the Lord has sent to me this morning, and when you watch it, you will understand. I'm not gonna interpret it or anything like that. But I know that the Most High Yah is moving, is working, hallelujah, through the hearts of his people. And one thing I know about our Creator, about our Savior, the Jesus Christ of the Bible, the Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Biblical Christ, amen, is that he will never ever share his glory. You're either for him, or you're either against him. And so this morning when I woke up, brothers and sisters, in my heart, I heard the voice of the Most High says, I will not share my kingdom. I will tear down the kingdom of darkness. And he will, brothers and sisters. The Most High takes his people very, 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 very seriously. He said that, you know, if anybody causes one of these, his children to go astray, it is better for a millstone to wrap around that individual neck that is leading a sheep like a lamb to the slaughter. Because we know in these last days, the enemy is very, very cunning. Now, People might believe and think that, oh my dear sister Carrie Ann, what's wrong with you? Why are you coming against our brother? Why are you coming against our sisters? Brothers and sisters, for those of you who know me and understand how the spiritual realm works, when I expose anything, it's not head knowledge. Hallelujah. I never ever use head knowledge to expose. It is always spiritual so I go directly in the realm of the Spirit, hallelujah, and the Most High through the Holy Spirit then shows me who these people are, okay? And you, those of you who are carnal, you probably think, oh, she's attacking these, I'm going after the Spirit behind these people. So it's not the person per se hallelujah that i'm going after it seems like that because if you do not understand that we do not wrestle against flesh and blood but it's principalities spiritual powers rulers and darkness in in very high places these are the things that those of us who do warfare go against so when i do expose anybody on this channel it is a spirit behind that person I'm going after. Now, I'm gonna share this beautiful, precious sister video. Please, not, please do not go and attack her, okay? Don't attack this woman, this blessed woman of the Most High, yeah. Don't attack her. You got a problem, you sort it out with me, but you do not attack this uh, precious sister. But, I'm going to share her video. You need to watch it and make of it what you will. But I know I had instruction when the video came to me this morning uh, through a beloved sister called Sister Michelle. When she sent the video to me and I watched it, I said, Lord, what do you, what do you want me to do with this video? Because as far as I'm concerned, I've done what you're supposed to, I've done what I'm supposed to do. You told me to expose these cult people and I've done that. And I heard the Holy Spirit spoke and said, you must share this video to warn. It's a very powerful video. You make of it what you will, but I am following the spirit of the Most Higher the set apart the Holy Spirit 
and I'm sharing this video from this beautiful sister. I will leave the original video in the description box, but the video will play after this. Like I say, please do not attack this precious sister. Do not do it. If you have any concerns or you're upset or angry, come to me. You can come on my channel and, you know, voice your opinion or whatever you want to do but do not attack the sister don't do it and it's a warning do not attack her so i'm going to share her video and like i said i will leave the original linked with her name and everything in the description box so be bold be strong be courageous walk with you just like enoch all praises to the most high who lives above the heavens yeah i eternally bless you i love you all and i will see you soon someday in glory in jesus christ's precious holy name amen and amen amen blessings amen good morning family good morning um i just need to come to you real quick my heart is a bit heavy right now um i gotta be obedient and I'm not going to really try to interpret this. Human nature wants to interpret this, but you interpret it for yourself. And if, um, you know, if there are people who are told to interpret dreams, please, you know, interpret it for us. But I have been following um, Prophetess Carrie Ann Giddings for some time. Uh, she's of the Lord. I can feel she's of my father. I feel her spirit and uh, she had began to start speaking about um, a young man by the name of Jonathan Tishlimbo so she spoke so highly of this man that you know I started following him because I was very interested in my my Bantu roots my Bantu culture uh, this walk that I'm on being Hebrew the people around me are, are sound asleep you know they're still Christian and the Most High woke me up for a reason I know I audibly heard his voice tell me I was Hebrew so I knew that he wanted me to wake up to this you know the story I have it on here but anyway I started following this young man because he gave a lot of teachings about um, the Bantu culture and teachings I thought were great you know and I started following someone else he spoke about which is Pastor Mello and I listened to his um, teachings about the Bantu culture. And I thought they were great. I really did. I thought like they resonated with my spirit. I was like, okay, you know, I really enjoy them. And they started pushing a doctrine um, about third secret of phantom or something. I listened to a bit of it. I didn't really get deep into it. Like, I know my Messiah. They were saying that a man named Simone Togo... Uh, manifested into Yeshua Hamashiach. What I got from it was that Yeshua Hamashiach sent his spirit here into a man. But I know there's one Messiah. His name is Yeshua Hamashiach. Many call him Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Uh, I call him Yeshua Hamashiach. I do call him Jesus Christ of Nazareth at times. Um, I used to just say Jesus Christ, but those of us who know they're pushing another Jesus Christ. So I definitely make it specific when I do use the name Jesus Christ. I say Jesus Christ of Nazareth. But usually I just call him Yeshua Hamashiach. And uh, I know his voice. And I won't listen to another. So this Timon Togo, I just kind of blew that off. Didn't look into that. But I was more interested in their Bantu teachings. And that's what I looked into. And uh you know, it's been a big, huge debate online about are they false prophets? Because why are they pushing another narrative of another Christ? You know, and that is a red flag. That's a huge red flag. Uh, they said, you know, another will come in his own name and he you will receive. It could be my own ignorance, but I thought the name Jesus Christ was the name that, you know, people were receiving when his name was Yeshua. And that could be my own ignorance. But anyway, like I said, I didn't look into that third secret of phantom or whatever i heard and i'm like whatever I, I know my messiah i do know that he died he was crucified died he rose three days later 
for me and for everyone saying that he's sitting on the right hand of my father, the almighty, the most high. That's what I know. So I prayed all day yesterday because my heart was grieved because I don't want to be deceived. Like I said, there's no one physically here but me and the Holy Spirit to lead me on this and my mentors that I have on YouTube. So I prayed all day yesterday because my heart just hurt and last night before I went to bed I asked the Father to please, please, please give me a dream and show me who these people are. If Jonathan's a false prophet or if Pastor Mello is a false prophet, please show me in black and white. Please show me. I don't want to be deceived. You know, um, I just, I don't want to be deceived. They could be speaking the truth about the Bantu cultures and lying about the third secret of Phantoma. Try, that could be, you know, what they're trying to do, but there's always a truth mixed with a lie. So, uh, I just said, please show me, Father. And he gave me a small dream last night. I really didn't want to release it because you do get, you know, the enemy tries to come against you when you put these things out. But I'm going to release it because I'm a child of the Most High and I know he's got me. Uh, I saw my sister Carrie Ann last night in my dream. This is the first time I've ever seen her in a dream. And she was wearing all white. And she was sitting down, like on a stool, I guess. And she had a book in her hand. I guess it was the Bible. Uh, I didn't see, but it was a book. And there was a white house behind her, a little small white house behind her. And she looked at me and said, do you know what that house is? And I told her, no. And she said, that is a slaughterhouse. And uh, that was it. That was it. That was it. And when I woke up, I asked Father, like, what? What is she trying to tell me? And I remember in the Bible, it speaks about sheep being led to the slaughter. So I'm like, Father, are you telling me that we were sheep that were being led to the slaughter by these men? I'm trying not to interpret that, but that's kind of what I got from it. Uh, and that's it. I just have to be obedient and release that because if any of you are following them, and Father has given me, given me that dream to share, I got to share it. I got to put it out. In the meantime, I've unfollowed them. Um, I fast every week. I'm going into some serious fasting because if we were being deceived by these people, like I said, they could be speaking about the truth about the Bantu culture. That's really all I listened to about them, with them. It's, it was interesting, and I, like I said, it felt right. But this third secret of phantom, I'm like, I'm gonna be honest. I didn't. I don't know about that. I saw the guy. I saw who they were talking about. I know my father's supernatural. He can do all things, you know, but I do know there's only one Messiah and there's only one true living God. And that's what I know. But anyway, I just wanted to be obedient and put that out about my sister Carrie Ann last night. And that's it. Shalom.